Hey guys, welcome back to what I think is a video. <laughs> um, so, yeah, um, I have some stuff. I, like, I don't even know where to start at this point, but, um, uh, so, I don't like talking about this stuff at all. This stuff is really, I, I just, okay, so, uh, just so you know, I'm actually not going to be in town. This weekend, I'm going to be out of town until Monday evening. Uh, if that bothers anyone, if you're all like, why are you online? That will be why. I will still check in on social media at the hotel when I have Wi-Fi. But a lot of times, I'm probably going to be out or just out or busy or something. So, um, anyway, um, I, I just want to say, I don't know if I'm going to DC. I, I don't know. Because, uh, anyway, uh... That's not the uh, point. The point is that I um, am here, and um, I you've probably been wondering. I did just upload yesterday. I uploaded uh, my best hit songs of, uh, my worst hit songs of 2017. I will be doing the best list soon. Uh, but the thing is, um, I did upload yesterday, and a lot of people are probably, probably just wondering why I hadn't uploaded in a while. And because uh, I did the top 20 ranked, and I uploaded a couple like, small, dumb things, probably wondering where I haven't uploaded in a while. I have been live-streaming a lot, if you know my, my, uh, Periscope channel. Um, so, I do have a Periscope channel where I live-stream, and I, uh, posted the link to that in one of my YouTube videos. It basically says something like, go on Paris, like, go follow me on Periscope. And I did, um, film a story time that I actually did get uploaded. I thought it got deleted, but it actually did get uploaded about the time I got catfished from last year, so I did film that story time, and that story time is up in my, in my story time playlist if you want to watch it. Again, it's not exactly a you know, lighthearted um, story time, but um, yeah, so there's that. Um, so right now it's the middle of summer, and I am very bored, but not in a good way, and I don't really feel very social or like doing a lot or hanging out with people. It's not like Oh, I'm bored. Time to catch up on projects I've been wanting to do. Like, that's just not where I am, where I'm at right now. I'm bored in the sense of not wanting to do anything, and yet still bored, and, um, frustrated. Um, so, um, I, I'm just gonna say, ch um, well, I don't wanna, I don't wanna, like, get in too in depth here. Uh, tr um, trigger warning for, like, if, like, death or, like, mental mental illness or, like, people dying or, or, or sickness, if that makes you, if that triggers you, then don't watch the video because, um, or, like, if any of that triggers you, just, just, like, if you're still upset, like, like, I know, and I'll get into this, like, if people talk about cancer or whatever, it just makes me upset, so, like, obviously if that kind of thing makes you upset, just do not watch the video, because, um, this isn't even a story time, this is just, like, my life, um, so, uh, my, uh, it's July, and it's probably the worst month of the year, I would say December, or I'd say Christmas generally sucks, but, um, July is, is really bad, and I always forget, it always kind of sneaks up in me, I always kind of forget how fucking bad July is, and it just keeps getting worse, uh, December is also bad because my grandma died in December, and it was, and Christmas just sucks when people die, um, <laughs> you just don't have the same, it's just not the same anymore, and it sucks, so quite honestly, um, I'm just going to be honest and say that I, uh, I, um, I don't really know, but, um, it's just, in general, my, my, uh, my life is just very, um, I'm not trying to make people feel sorry for me, I don't want people to feel sorry for me, that's not the point, uh, that would be stupid, um, but I'm just very, um, frustrated, um, Basically, I, um, I 
I haven't done anything bad yet. I haven't done anything wrong, but I'm on the verge of, I feel like I'm on the verge of doing something potentially bad, and I'm not going to, but I don't know. I just, um, I'm just really fed up with everything, and, um, what happened to us, I, um, so two years ago, well, I don't want to get into it too much, but, um, I don't actually remember the exact date, which is what's crazy. It was it was July twenty something. I don't actually remember the exact date, um, which is insane that I don't remember that. But uh, that my uh, mother passed away two years ago from cancer, and this was not sudden at all. I mean, her, her like downhill like progression was kind of sudden, but I mean like her having cancer was not sudden at all. Like that was that had been like a two year thing, like a thing, or we've been dealing with for like. 18 months or something at that point so it wasn't like new but um um and she'd had it before that but we didn't know but um I'm not ready to I don't know if I'll ever be ready to tell the full story on here because one it's very personal and there's a lot of uh, gross details um and two it's just it's not my story anyway but um I have talked about this in therapy a lot, but I've had several therapists, um, my therapists keep changing, that's not anyone's fault, it's just tricky, uh, I do have my other therapist though, I want to talk to her, but I can't because she's actually out of town right now, and then next week I can't meet with her because we do always do Tuesday evenings, and I'm gone both Saturdays, and, um, Tuesday evening, I have dance intensives all this week. I'm not in shape at all. I haven't practiced. I was going to do that this week, but that did not happen. And I'll get to that in a minute. But um, I'm really out of shape. I miss working out. I miss exercising. But it's just so friggin' hot. It is so hot. And I, I do not do well. I tend to wilt in the heat. And uh, I, I mean, just this is my life. Like, everything just sucks. Like, everything has just been accumulating. And if I go in public or if I do anything, like, in public or, like, any sort of, like, situation, I'll just, like, melt down or, break, or, like, have an anxiety attack. I had an anxiety attack at Kennywood. Not funny. Like, completely legit ass had an anxiety attack at Kennywood and had to leave. And, um, had an anxiety attack on the beach and had to leave. Like, literally anywhere I go where, like, it's public, it always happens in public. And it's stupid. And I, I just don't understand why I can't, like, freak out at home, but I freak out in public all the time, and I don't mean to, and I feel terrible about it, but it's just, like, I have such bad anxiety, like, going on rides and stuff. Like, it's not even that I have anxiety going on rides, it's just that I have anxiety with, like, people and lines and stuff. Uh, so I like going on rides. Rides are really fun, but at Kennywood, it's, like, just... It's just, it's just like, a lot of people. Because uh, it was actually fireworks night, and, uh... And, uh, there was actually, like, a lot of people there, and, um, it was really stressful because, um, basically my dad has high blood pressure, and, uh, he's fine, like, he's been to a doctor, they say it's fine or whatever, and he's on medication, but, like, uh, the signs are, like, they have to cover their butt, so they're like, don't ride this if you have high blood pressure, and I freaked out, I was like, you're gonna die, because I'm extra worried about, like, the parent I have left dying, that sounds really weird, but it's true, uh, in case you don't know, I already have an anxiety, like, I have anxiety disorder, this, this is not, like, oh, I'm upset, like, because this happened, no, like, I've, I've had anxiety disorder since I was, like, a little kid, like, I wasn't diagnosed with them, but, like, I know I've had, like, general anxiety, probably, probably OCD, uh, maybe social anxiety, I don't know, just autism, which is an anxiety, but, which having that with anxiety can have symptoms, like, um, like, I'm saying, like, social anxiety and, uh, OCD and stuff are really similar, like, if you have autism, because it, it can, it can, like, manifest that way in, like, social anxiety or whatever, because if you're socially awkward and then you always still have anxiety, you'll have social anxiety, so, um, um, anyway, and this is, this is what a lot of people don't know about me, is that I'm, is that people, people either, it's like, if you're a close friend of mine, people think I'm really extroverted, and I'm not at all, and it's just really weird to me, and then other people think I'm really introverted, because I, I'm socially awkward, I can be extroverted in a certain situation, but I can be socially awkward, I'm an ambivert, and that's the thing, it's, I'm, I'm, I'm saying, I have two personality types, like, like, I, I have literally a 50-50 split, I don't have a Myers-Briggs type, that's the thing, I have two Myers-Briggs types, and it's just like, everything is just so, and I know that has nothing to do with, like, mental illness or anything, it's just people don't see me as, 
are you going to see me as an ENFJ or an INFJ? Like, like I do. I want people to see me. It's I, if I want people to see me as an INFJ, but then I have that E street, and but it only comes out with friends. Like, if I'm at a large party, it's too much, and then my eye comes back, and it's just like, um, it's just like, do you want people to see me to see me as an INFJ or an ENFJ? And uh, more importantly, uh, it's just like. Do you want to see me as anxious, as like anxious, like, like, and I'm just saying I've had anxiety disorders since I was probably a little kid, probably multiple anxiety disorders. I don't know if I have OCD or social anxiety or like anything like that. I know I'm autistic. So again, some of those symptoms that are similar might be just better explained by autism. So I don't really know if I have like other anxiety disorders or if it's just like general anxiety and I'm autistic. So it manifests itself that way. And I'm not, like, super, like, like, autism isn't the issue. I don't mean, like, it's not an issue, but I mean, like, it's, it's, um, like, it, it doesn't get in the way of, like, functioning or whatever. Like, some people can't, like, it depends. it's not severe, but when it combines with anxiety, then it's just, like, then it, you, that, that makes social anxiety. And I, it's, I know that's really not what I was talking about, but anyway, um, so it's, like, every time... But I've just been so um, on edge lately, like dur like everything. I've just been on edge, and um, people usually think like, whenever I do anything, whenever I try anything, I like have fun. But then it just I just crash. I just crash, and it's just like everything just comes back to haunt me, and I just crash. And again, it's July, so probably worst month of the year. Um, July fourth was the day we found out she didn't have any more treatment, so that holiday will always be written for me, regardless of politics or anything. Just just for that personal reason alone. So if people think. Uh, if people think that, like, oh, you're so unpatriotic, I mean, that's, that's true right now, honestly, but, um, that's not the point, that's not why, I, if I say I hate 4th of July, I'm not trying to trash America or anything, I'm really not, I'm literally just saying that I hate 4th of July, because I have a personal experience with it, and guys, I am wearing a shirt right away, so shut up, because <laughs> I just realized it looked like I wasn't from that angle, but I'm, well, I'm kind of wearing a shirt, anyway, uh, so, um, this is a chain shop. Again, it's fucking like 100 degrees outside. It's not quite that hot, but it's going to be in Virginia because I'm going to be in Virginia over the weekend. It's going to be even hotter. Uh, I have family down there. I'm going to be in like Norwich, Virginia, D.C. area over the weekend, and it is incredibly hot. So, we'll have to see how that goes. Uh, um, but anyway, um, because my dad actually has a meeting with my grandma's, um, treasurer on Monday morning, so that's why. But anyway, uh... That's all not, not important, but, um, so, um, basically, I was in Erie over the weekend, oh, last weekend, I was in Erie, and, uh, I was in Erie, and, uh, we have friends there, and, uh, basically, um, this was literally so sudden, um, because this guy was, like, my dad's friend in high, in, not, 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 I'm sorry, not in high school, in college, in college, and, um, so he was, like, close to 60, I guess, you know what I mean, and, uh, uh, so his wife is, like, one of my best friends, she's, like, 38 or something, I don't know, but she's, like, one of my best friends, she was one of my mom's best friends, we're, like, writing buddies, she doesn't, like, she, she's not, like, she acts like a kid, like, I don't mean, like, in a bad way, but she's, like, this is the most innocent human being on the planet, like, <laughs> like, I, I, like, like, and that, that's a compliment, like, I love her, she's amazing, but, um, um, he had, he had a lot of, um, they ended up getting married. My mom actually introduced him on, on Facebook. Uh, we were all in their wedding a few years ago. It was really great, but anyway, uh, so she basically, uh, well, he has had a lot of health issues, and I'm not entirely sure, uh, when I say health issues, I mean physical health issues. She's had a lot of mental health issues. But she's kind of similar to me, except she's a P and I'm a J, um, personality type wise. But um, she is um, autistic, and um, which is again, I'm not saying autism is like a mental illness or it's like a bad thing. I'm just saying it when you have autism combined with mental illness. I'm sorry, I'm like no worries. I'm <clears throat> I'm also just like really have a lot of allergies right now, and again, it's really hot. Uh, but when you have autism combined with mental illness, it can be really bad, and that's exactly what I have, so it's, it's, I'm, and before you're, like, and, like, all this, like, depression and angst and whatever the fuck, if you stand to say, all oh, that's caused by 
you know, what happened in the last couple of years, that's fine. But, like, obviously, I've had anxiety disorders since I was, like, a kid. So, like, I know it just isn't, like... Like, me having anxiety disorders is nothing new. Like, like, anyway, going back to... Uh, sometime I should tell I should tell that story on my channel sometime um, about my uh, panic attack when I was ten. I should tell that story on my channel sometime. But it's, anyway, um, all the stories I have are like really not not funny. Like all the stories I have are like really um, bad. Like uh, anyway, because um, people like funny story times, but all the stories I have are just like really bad. Because I don't do anything illegal yet. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't, I don't do drugs. I wouldn't do drugs. Like, I'm not going to do drugs. I'm not going to shoplift. I'm not a person like that. Anyway, but, um, the per I'll get to that. In a, but anyway, so, um, I, I just, I, I just, I, I, anyway, um, like, people, so I'm just saying, like, autism and stuff. Um, anyway, anyway, that's not the big deal. But anyway, so, so, um, he had a ton of, like, physical health problems. Like, he was, like, really overweight. Like, I'm not, like, obese, like, morbidly obese like not in a and I'm not saying that to 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 shame him like he's always been the guy ever since I knew him he had actually lost weight since um since like he married her like he lost weight uh when he met her he was like in a really bad place and I'm actually really glad that they still got married and all that even though you know but I'm really glad because in his last few years of life, we're way happier than they would have been otherwise. So that makes me feel a lot better. You know what I mean? But at the same time, it was just so sudden because uh, his health issues were... I'm saying he was working on it, but he's had a ton of health issues and he's had heart stuff. And some of it, uh, I forget how it all happened. Uh, again, this is why if you see someone who's overweight or obese or whatever, this is why not to judge them. This is why judging them or shaming them is bad. And it's just like, whatever, you don't know someone's story, you don't know what they've been through, you don't know. Um, but anyway, he, uh, anyway, he had a lot of physical issues, and, uh, we saw him on Saturday, and he was, like, kind of sick, but he was, like, okay, you know, like, normal, but then it was Sunday evening, I heard he got into the ER, and we were leaving Monday, and, uh, I actually didn't go to back to the hospital, because hospitals give me trauma and flashbacks, and fucking hospitals, like, <laughs> I don't like hospitals anyway, but, like, especially... Like, oh my god, like, like, I, like, my mom was in the hospital so much. It's just, like, awful. So, um, hospitals suck. I fucking hate hospitals. But anyway, uh, anyway, uh, so my dad actually went to see him, and I hung out with her and her dad on the, um, dock or whatever at the bay, at the bay front. We hung out, you know, whatever. But, like, I got ice cream. It was really nice. Uh, like, okay, but... It was literally Wednesday morning when he passed away. It was, like, 2 a.m. And I was so sudden. Like, I saw him four days earlier. He was fine. Like, he wasn't fine, but he was, like, fine. You know what I mean? Like, they literally thought, oh, this has happened before. It was, like, a CO2 buildup. This has happened before. Like, he'll be fine. But, like, then, then, no. Of course he wasn't. Like, like, what the fuck? Like, literally, it's just, like... I just, just honestly... The fact that people keep dying in July... It's just, I hate it. And, and second of all, it's just... Yeah. It's just, like, I'm already, I was already, like, not doing well mentally, emotionally, because of, um, like, I've been really, really tired. I've been really, like, lethargic, uh, saying I was not doing well mentally, emotionally at all anyway, because, um, July and, and traveling and just, I, I turned 17 in June and just growing up and dealing with that, um, you know, it's just hard and, and, um, dealing with my friends, you know, growing up without me, and I'm still, like, a bit behind, and that's okay, but it's just hard, and then she's like, whatever, but anyway, uh, my, my, so, this was, like, I was, like, already dealing with a lot of shit, and then this happened, and I'm just, been, like, really down, really, like, depressed and feeling the last couple days, and, um, so, I know I'm saying I wasn't doing well anyway, like, the last few weeks. I've also been really, really busy, and I'm going to be really, really busy for the next few weeks, uh, because I have dance intensives when I get back, and then I do rabbit sitting, and then I have, um, in August, I'm actually going to Connecticut and New York, so, um, uh, and Philly. We're going to Philly, and then to Connecticut, and then New York. I'm going to New York with my aunt, so, uh, yeah, so I'm actually traveling in August for about a week. I'll be gone for about a week, but anyway, uh, what I'm saying is, is that basically I, I, um, I, 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 um, 
um, really busy. Um, school will be starting again probably September, early September. Like my co-op is starting back, and I also have a really busy year. Like my schedule is filling up really busy, and as much as that really tore me down last year, as stressed out as it was, I'm first of all I'm hoping to be able to do better this year and just like have more like not worth the work ethic, but just like I'm hoping to do better this year and just not not be as tired, just not be as sick. I don't mean that, but I felt constantly sick last year, honestly. And also, I'm not taking chemistry this year, which that will help because chemistry was probably the most stressful course I'd taken like, ever. So um, I passed it. I'm so relieved. But anyway, uh, I'm not going to be taking that this year, so that should help a lot. Uh, but I'm still taking a bunch of classes. My schedule's really filling up, and I'm actually not taking Spanish this year either, so that's just that'll free up some more time. Uh, I need, but um, my class schedule is really filling up for the fall, and honestly, I'm I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to being too busy to care again, which I know it's like a really stupid feeling. Like, oh, I'm not having any fun. I'm so busy. I'm numb. But at the same time, I don't have time to sit down and be depressed. So it's just like I, I don't know. But anyway, uh, and I'm glad the one kid who gave me so much grief last year is not going to be here this year. It wasn't even his fault. He's just a fucking prick. Anyway, uh, sorry. Uh, but anyway, um, it's just like so. I'm basically just ranting about nothing, but I'll get to it. So I wanna, I, I, I'm, I'm mad, and like I, <laughs> this is really hard to talk about. I have a harder time talking about this than mental illness, which is just crazy to me. It's just like mental illness. I hate talking about it, but it's just like. I've been in therapy. I've been in so much therapy. I've talked to so many people about mental illness. It's not even funny. Um, like, I have talked to so many people about mental illness, but honestly, um, it's just like, um, I'm just really mad, and I'm really bored, and I don't like where I live, and I want to get out of here, and I want to graduate, but it'll be at least another year before I can graduate, and I, even then I won't know how to drive, and I might move to Pittsburgh, I don't know if I'm going to move to Pittsburgh, I might move to Pittsburgh, but, uh, just because, give me a little bit of space, but, like, I don't know, uh, because I live, like, it's probably, like, 15, 20 miles from Pittsburgh, but it's, like, longer drive because traffic and shit, so anyway, I don't drive, I do not know how to drive, I'm 17, I do not know how to drive, I could legally learn how if I wanted to, but it doesn't really matter, we don't have an extra car anyway, and I just don't care, and, uh, maybe when I'm older, I will, but, like, right now, I just don't care, anyway, um, so, um, because I don't have an extra car anyway, and I'm fucking terrified I would just crash a car and kill someone, like, I, like, honestly, like, <laughs> I'm just gonna be honest, I, I would probably crash a car and kill someone, I'd probably be, like, Gabby Hannah, if you've ever watched like Gabby Hanna, um, she she's from she's from like the same area of Pennsylvania I am in, and, and she uh, has like the same uh, problems like she can't drive or whatever. Anyway, um, so um, it's just that it's just that I um really really I'm just like really really sad. I know it sounds fucking stupid, but like I it's just true. And uh, I've been dealing with this group. I've been dealing with this shit with like my mom for like two years because she was someone I knew like in my everyday life like like that affected me that changed my entire life, you know what I mean? So it's just like, because I was living with her, like, if I'm an adult, like, if you're an adult and one of your parents dies, and you're, like, living on your own, that sucks, like, of course that sucks, of course you're gonna miss them, of course you're gonna struggle with grief, whatever, but it's not the same, it's not quite the same thing as if you're living with them, if you're a teenager, if they are actively parenting you, actively raising you, it's not quite the same thing. So, uh, like, it's just, it's, being a teenager is the worst, especially, if you're a girl and it's your mom or if you're going to do that, I'm not saying necessarily it's always true, but I'm just saying uh, it can be, you know, how having, like, boys without father figures around can be really bad for them or whatever, or sometimes they can, like, have problems. Like, it's like brat, having a mother around, there's a lot of, I'm out of breath, uh, there's a lot of, like, uh, really interesting things that just sh turn up that you wouldn't expect, like, try and get swimsuits on by yourself and uh, random stuff that you wouldn't expect to be an issue, but it is, and it's just fucking stupid, so, anyway, uh, anyway, uh, having to tell your dad when you're on your period, so, you know, you're stressed, so, like, if I'm extra stressed and around the edge, that's because I'm on my period dad, and he, having to tell him I'm in pain and I need to lie down, and he thinks, he doesn't think I'm crazy, it's just that he, he like, you don't understand periods if you're not a girl, or if you haven't had periods, you don't understand periods, like, I, I'm not, like, it's just, Okay, so I'm just saying, like, um, wow, my hair is, like, so bad. It's ugly. Um, I'm ugly. But, <laughs> um, anyway, 
Like, it's just acne. It's just the acne. I just want to do something with my hair. I want to do something with my face, but I don't know if it would be good. If I cut it short, would it make me look fat? See, that's what I don't know. Like, if I cut my hair like, like this, like, like this, <sighs> would it make me look fat? See, that's what I'm trying to decide if it would make me look fat or if it would be cute because I'm not fat. It's just that, like, if certain haircuts can make me look that way. So, um, anyway, uh, <sighs> Uh, the point I was making is that, like, I'm not skinny either, I'm just kind of average, but th that's not relevant, uh, but the point I was making is that I feel, I feel very, um, I feel like I should put, like, a jacket on or something, but it's so fucking hot right now, um, well, um, but yeah, so I'm just really not doing great, honestly, and if I, like, if I just, if I disappear off the internet for a while, well, partly could just because I'm busy, honestly, if I disappear off YouTube, like, I'm just really, I'm either busy or, I'm either depressed or busy, quite honestly, or both, and, uh, I, you, you don't need to worry about me too much, like, I'm not, like, I'm not, like, uh, gonna hurt myself or anything, but it's just that, like, I, 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 still, I, I just wanna, like, um, vandalize something, like, <laughs> Um, I, I don't, like, I have, I have, um, no means at the moment, but, um, dude, I am so thirsty. I'm taking this with me uh, tomorrow in the morning because we're going to Virginia, but anyway, uh, I, like, I know it sounds just, it just, it's just really, really just, like, I just want to, like, but I, I, like, I, like, I can't. I've joked about this like like um, multiple times. It's like I I, I have no skills, so um, but like <laughs> I mean, if I'm really angry, then skills don't matter. It just matters that you're being angry. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Don't 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 do it. Like kids, kids, don't do dumb shit. Like please don't. It's like it would be really stupid of me to do anything legal because I'm 17. I'm trying to get out of here. Like that'd be really, really fucking stupid of me. But it's just like I'm just sick. Like I'm just hate all this bullshit and just like I'm mad and I'm bored. And uh, now I have break up with your girlfriend because I'm bored in my head. So you can hit it in the morning, yeah, yeah, like it's yours. I know it ain't right, but I don't care, care. Wake up with your girlfriend, yeah, yeah, cause I'm bored, this happened to me, why can't we just play for keeps, yeah, yeah, practically on my knees, yeah, yeah, and you know I shouldn't think about it, you know what you're doing to me, you're singing my songs in the streets, yeah, yeah, acting all in assemblies, but you know how you think about it. Then I realize she's right there And I'm home like, damn, this ain't fair Break up with your girlfriend Yeah, yeah, cause I'm bored Sorry, okay, um <laughs> Alright, um, so, yeah, um Um I'm just, it's okay, like, I'll, I'll be fine It's just like, I I'll be fine in like five years. I don't know. <laughs> That's what it feels like right now. Quite honestly, I like I, 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 like resolve the thoughts of like I'll never be fine. And of course, that's not true. Like obviously, that's not true. But it's just like it's just like it's, it's like uh it's just like whatever. And uh, it's just really frustrating because it's just like I just want to like I don't know. Like it's just, it's just really frustrating. I don't know what I want to do. I'm just fed up. Like I, I'm like angry too, and like that's not good. Cause like I don't want to like hurt anyone. Like I don't want to like be mean to anyone. I don't want to do anything that would hurt anyone because I'm a nice person. Like people think I'm like not a nice person. I am like the most empathetic person on the fucking planet. Like honestly, like I, I'm I'm not saying that. I'm not trying to be braggadocious. Now you probably think I'm braggadocious, and I'm so sorry. I'm not braggadocious. It literally, literally, it it sucks being the most empathetic person on the planet. It sucks because you can't help everyone, and it sucks. Like I'm not I'm not kidding when. I say that it sucks but anyway uh, I'm just saying quite personally I'm just really bored um, bored <laughs> bored bored <laughs> bored and I'm just I don't know I'm just like sad <laughs> I'm like <laughs> so um, if you're wondering just what's been going on because I've been like really cryptic about it in other videos and I'm not gonna do anything like I'm not gonna do anything illegal I'm just like I'm just like mad like I just want to like I don't know like <laughs> Uh, 
because I know full well if I drink illegal, it would be stupid. It would be really, really stupid because, uh, you know, I'm trying to get out of here and all that shit. And it's just like, whatever. I'm trying to get out of this, like, small town. Like, even if I move to Pittsburgh, it's not even that far. But it's just like, whatever. Hey, I'm like, <sighs> give me some space. Give me some distance, please. But, like, I can't move out until I can graduate and I have to graduate. And, uh, yeah, so it's just like, whatever. And quite honestly, because I'm taking a whole bunch of classes next year and I'm, like, hyped for it. Honestly, I don't know why I'm hyped for school, but I am... <laughs> Uh, one of those things that's completely messed up when you're when you're <laughs> mentally not doing great. But anyway, that's just been a really long video, and I'm really sorry about that. But I'm going to go now. Um, I'm gonna upload this. I don't know if it'll get out before I leave for Virginia, and I'm not gonna have Wi-Fi while I'm in the car. But um, yeah. So anyway, I hope. But yeah, I just comment. I mean, you you can say whatever you want. I don't care. If <sighs> If you don't like me or whatever, that's fine. Like, honestly, I don't even care at this point. Like, it won't matter. So, yeah, honestly, I'm, I don't even know, but I, I just, I'm terrible at, like, ending shit. So, I'm just gonna go now and, like, I'm just gonna end this. Like, I'm ending a stream. I'm just gonna go now.